Hi guys, my name is MJ. Welcome to Virtu Toys channel. Okay, I've just ran through with you guys in my previous video. Um, new arrivals from Mini GT, the four new Mini GTs, okay, and the two new BBRs. So this in this video, I want to focus more on the um, Hobby Expo China releases, which is the uh, the Mini GT Can Marry, the event exclusive. Um, and then there's the Eno RX7 Liberty Walk and the F40 Liberty Walk as well. Um, and the BBR Ferrari, for, uh, Ferrari 296 GTB. So four cars in total from the Hobby Expo China in Beijing. Um, I believe there's also a Tarmac and I believe there's at least another, the, there's a PGM 118 scale as well that I know. Um, so I don't have those. I only have these in front of me. And yeah. Um, I want to do because these these you know these two enos that I have here right they're actually not mine um i need to do a quick shout out to cl diecast it actually belongs to him and it's on loan uh for me to do this review video to help you decide if you should get it or not okay um yeah so i already got everything out of the box um right before i place you back on the on the on the cradle right actually one thing i want to point out would be Help me to hit the like button, okay? Because they're helping out with the YouTube algorithms. Okay, so the first one I want to cover you guys would be the Mini GT release. Okay, it's already out of the box. Actually, why am I holding the camera, right? It's because it comes in this very nice paper bag. Okay, it's actually very nice. Okay, in a very nice paper bag. Okay, you get a paper bag and then you get a sticker. All right, the sticker, I understand there's a few different variations of this. So this is one. And... Um, you will get a t-shirt as well, the Mini GT t-shirt. So I'll show it to you. Okay, the front has the Mini GT logo. On the sleeve, it has the Hobby Hobby Expo China 2024. And at the back, okay, uh, Mini GT X Liberty Walk, model car, accessories, and vibes. Okay, so yeah, that's the whole package, okay, with the car. Okay, I already got a car out of its packaging that's mini gt number 630 officially known as nissan skyline ken mary liberty walk chrome blue hobby expo china 2024 yes it does have that nissan licensing logo and um definitely has liberty walks permission to do this car to use their logo as well okay um yeah so there is actually a a dinner version of this and i understand it's only limited to 250 cars however the um the event version i believe is listed as five thousand um different units okay so these are actually made in blister packaging okay and uh you've seen the yeah you've seen artwork already right did i show you this now or is it too fast i didn't really focus on artwork so i want to focus a little bit on artwork okay so it does look like it's a 3d rendering not a not a real photo Okay, very nice. No figure this time. Tokyo Auto Saloon released the one with a figure um, in that iconic baby blue. And yeah, they're doing the chrome blue this time around. I don't recall the real car being in chrome, chrome blue before, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong. You can show me link to photos, okay, if you do know. Right, so out of the box, um, this is the event version. The dinner version has pink accent to it. Actually, it, it does look quite nice on photos, but I don't have it. The price has gone really crazy. Um, last I saw it sold out is, I think, what, 1,800 US dollars. So that's pretty crazy. And no, I'm not able to get it. That is a sold out price, okay? So no, I didn't manage to get it. Okay, but yes, I managed to get this guy. Um, in my hands, this actually belongs to me. No, I'm not selling this. Okay, but there are a couple extras of these available through Collector's Cube. Do look them up. Okay, we do have sellers over there who actually brought in from China. And uh, yeah, it's really stocked there right now. Okay, so do look them up. They do ship international as well. Okay, all right. So here we go, back to the car. Um, very nice stance for, um, yeah, for its retail price, I think it's fine. For event price, then for the aftermarket price, then yeah, it's going to be quite high. So, uh, it's really up to you. Um, how crazy of a Mini GT Liberty Walk collector are you? Um, are you as crazy as me? Because I definitely feel that this is... Well, the dinner one is definitely out of reach. So, I feel that this one is something that I, I need to have. Okay? 
Liberty Rock logo at the back, slammed words underneath down here, done very nicely. I really like the chrome blue with a white stripe finishing, that's actually very nice. On the hood, very very nice Liberty Rock logo, okay, the LB logo, okay. So I think it's quite common with the uh, white color decals that usually happen. You can see it's not exactly perfect, but i um, fine with it. Okay. Oh, nice. This is actually very, very nice. Oh, look at the headlamps. Very done very nicely. The details on the, the chrome detail down there. Nice. Very, very nice. Stretch rim, stretch tires. Okay. And that small rims. Very nice. Really, really slammed. Okay. Right. Nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so I'm going to park him here with my Tato-san figure. So very often, I do get questions of uh, where do I get my figures. They are all true CoCube. Okay, all of my figures are all true Collector's Cube. Okay, so do look them up. They do have a, uh, a tab, a category just for figures for 64 scale. Okay, so do look them up because they do carry quite a few different brands. Okay, next I want to show you will be the BBR Ferrari 296 GTB. Um, I already got it out of the box. Okay, at the back, this is actually Rosso Corsa China Hobby Expo Edition 2024. Okay, all right. So this would be the first casting, first release from BBR for our, uh, making Ferrari in 64 scale. Okay, this will be the very first one. It did get a rather um, big hoo ha over the internet. You know, quite a number of collectors were unhappy that this was released as a exclusive model, not made um, available to Ferrari collectors worldwide okay um, so I am quite grateful that I do have one in my collection yes I kind of feel that uh, it's good to have okay I know that I can sleep tonight <laughs> all right so this is actually very very nice uh, this would be what the third casting from BBR Right, the Maserati MC20 at the back here, um, the Alfa Romeo Giulia, two variants, uh, I will call that as one, uh, one main release. So this will be the third casting, okay, the 296 GTB. I'm definitely looking forward to the rest of the releases. There's one on pre-order right now, actually. Um, I think it was recently closed. Anyway, if you want to join my pre-order, uh, I did put a link in the description box below. You can actually join... Uh, my pre-order list for regular items nice very nice so i'm just going to do a quick run through uh, i've not done much homework not much details that i know about this car okay all i can tell you is this was a yeah special release and size wise what should i compare it to um, mc20 so it does look compared comparable um because someone did ask if it's very big, um, I don't think it's really big. I think it's okay. It looks fine. It looks uh, pretty fine. Okay, so that's the BBR um, exclusive release. And then next I want to show you would be the Eno special release. Okay, the Eno 64. Liberty Walk RX7 FD3S LB Super Silhouette. Packaging color is very nice as well. Okay. Thanks with Toyota tires. Mm, there's Toyota tires branding as well. So on the inner box, only in front. With some branding. Yeah, only on the front. Okay, underneath. Uh, Liberty World RX7 FD 3S. Okay, chase car included. So the chase car version of this is uh, raw. Okay, it's raw in color. I don't have that. So this will be a new casting, pretty standard um, Eno sleeve, okay, this is pretty standard um, since the start, but the car itself is actually very nice. So it's on loan, so I won't be opening the cover. Very nice um, aero disc front rim, okay, five spoke dip dish at the back, done very nicely as well. So this is actually a very, very nice release. The slant nose um, design in front it does remind me, reminds me a lot about um, the Porsche slant nose. Check out the back 
Oh, love those details. Okay, the very iconic Arc 7 rear. Nice. Very nice. Okay, cool. Alright. Um, yeah. Okay, so that's the RX-7 in the white color base. Cool. Alright. So I'm not sure how many was of these were made. Okay. Um, not sure. Not stated at all. Okay. So that's the RX-7. Um, and then the Eno 64 Liberty Walk F40. Okay, in chrome silver. So last year they did three cars. Uh, sorry, actually, is it three cars? Three R34s. Okay, three R34s in the chrome silver, chrome gold, and black chrome. All right. So this year, two different cars. One in chrome silver. Hmm. So get a sense of a uh, theme here. Where is it? Here we go. Liberty World F40 chrome silver chase car included. So the chase version of this, right? is um well ra chrome rainbow can i call it a chrome rainbow okay so i don't have that i can only show you this um chrome release um we did a quick count during live session just now i think there are six regular versions of this f40 right now um there's a christmas there's a matte black there's a full carbon there's a white and there's a red and now the chrome silver so there's six uh, regular releases three chase the christmas chase um matte the uh chase for the matte black for the hong kong exclusive and there's a chase for this um china exclusive okay all right really very shiny really very shiny um i'm not exactly a huge fan of these chrome silver finishing cars um, I just f don't find them realistic. <laughs> so I'm only okay. Let me know what you think. Okay, let me know what you think. So this is not exactly a new casting. Oh, the RX7 Eno, right? The one in the back there, that is a new casting. That's the very first release. And um, this is not a first release. Okay. So still, it's actually a very, very nice casting. Nice. Um, Ferrari decals already done up for you. Okay, on the side and also on top. Nice. Nice. Cool. Alright, so I'm going to put this back in. Again, a quick shout out to CL Diecast um, for loaning these car the two Enos to me. For me to do this showcase uh, for you guys. Okay, so make sure you support brands that support us as well. Cool. So, yep, four new arrivals uh, that I have in front of me. Which would be your favourite? Um, I think mm, my favourite, I think that I will pick the Ferrari. It's it's a hard pick between these two, somehow. Um, either the Camry or the Ferrari. I think I'll pick the Ferrari. Maybe because it's a new casting and finally a proper 64 scale Ferrari. Finally. Um, at a... Uh, I'm expecting I'm expecting the regular releases to be normal prices. Okay, so I do hope that they will do plain color ones, okay, in their um regular release. Nice, very nice. Cool. So there are a couple of extras of these uh, available through Collectors Cube. Okay, do look them up. They are not mine, um, but they do have it if you need them. Um, you know where to find them. Alright, help me to hit the like button because that will help me out with the YouTube algorithms. Uh, what else? Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so that I don't miss on any of my other diecast videos. Thank you so much for watching guys. Take care. Bye.